This video is sponsored by Lupin, one of my new favorite jewelry brands. More on that later. Statement pieces are a lost art in fashion, and you could argue it's a lost art in general. Like, remember when game covers actually tried, they had their own art style, and now we're just left with the main character's face on the cover? Like, come on, man. Or when album covers went hard, and now we're literally left with a blank screen. With the rise of minimalism and the issues of 2020, it has left a vacuum in time in which us, the people who enjoy fashion, have really veered away from these type of garments, even scared of it at times. Times. But not to worry, this is everything y'all need to know about statement pieces and this is literally where the fun begins. First off, I'm not saying that bold cover arts or statement pieces don't exist anymore. It's definitely still there. What I'm really trying to say is most people play it safe nowadays and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm cool with simplicity. So first we must discuss what even is a statement piece? Uh, is it a unique print? Is it a drastic cut? Is it avant-garde? Is it a bold color? Well, answer is all of those. To keep it simple, it's really anything that strays from the norm and definitely pops on an outfit. And most of you guys will be able to tell. If you ever feel bored or stuck with your style, adding a statement piece is just refreshing. You'll definitely be able to think of new outfit ideas, hell, you might even embrace color for once in your life. I like to think of this like trying a new hobby. Sometimes the best thing to do when you're stuck in life as an adult is to just try something new, and statement pieces offer that. They also speak a lot about your character. It definitely communicates that you're willing to take risks, not play it safe, and whenever done well, will definitely showcase your good sense of fashion. And I'm not saying a minimal fit doesn't, by the way, but that's just the power of the statement piece. You spend the same amount of money as you would a regular item, but you get more out of it internally and externally. But more later on why it could be dangerous and a bad thing. But let's get into the juices of statement pieces. Most of y'all are actually probably already embracing statement pieces. You're just doing it at a pretty light level that most people probably wouldn't consider a statement piece, but it is. And that is something like bold sneakers or colored headwear. I'm gonna be using levels as an example. So level one, this is your low barrier of entry item. Beanies, hats, kicks, accessories, and colored pieces. You can still embrace minimalism, but make a statement. Just think of this like Nikki's The Pink Print album. That cover art is just beautiful yet so simple. It's just a blank or simple canvas with a bold pop of color. So if you wanna embody this with your outfits, y'all know I talk about this all the time, you grab yourself a white pair of sneakers, any pair of black pants, and before you grab that neutral color top, grab a colored one and there you go, look at you. I guarantee you this fit works every time. In the case of this simple outfit, you're letting the color speak for your fit. Another thing that you can do is pull from a colored item and oh man, this is my favorite. So I get it if some of you guys don't like colored tops, colored accessories is the move. So check out this sling bag. I know 80% of y'all would avoid this color, but it's an accessory. It's not like an entire shirt or a pair of pants, right? Bam, throw this on your body. You've got a bold statement, even if your entire fit's very simple. And you can pull from that color and match it with a piece of headwear. In this case, I'm matching that yellow with a yellow beanie. And it really looks like you know what you're doing while keeping your fit simple. And another way to keep it simple and look like you know what you're doing is to roll with jewelry. Something like these from the sponsor of today's video. Lupin. So Lupin is definitely one of my new favorite jewelry brands. They focus on high quality, minimal handcrafted jewelry for men. Each of these items are created with sterling silver and that's the good stuff. I mean, you can just check out the difference in sound. I pretty much love all of their designs and they were kind enough to send over this rope chain which I just put my jade pendant on because this brand does happen to be Asian founded and founded by three Korean women, shout out to them. They also sent over this striking ring with an accent of black that makes it pop. Y'all know what I've been talking about lately. And this bee water bracelet that I've been rocking so much, it's got a little pendant with the soy character which means water. Y'all know I love Bruce Lee. It's definitely versatile, goes with any outfits and it gives your fits a more upscale feeling. They've got a ton of other dope pieces as well and this is a smaller brand so go support them by clicking my link in the description. It doesn't matter if you're into streetwear or menswear, there is definitely something for you. And if y'all want to save some money, you guys can use my discount code FLOWERJOHNNYTY for 15% off. Thank you Lupin for sponsoring this video. Okay, now we're in level two, which is where the general public will definitely be like, okay, that's a statement piece right there. And that is when you take on unique cuts, designs, or patterns. And there's a few ways to go about this. Number one, roll with the pieces energy and match its vibe. So you can grab your Arc'teryx shell jackets or any shell in general and lean into that vibe. Embrace the functionality you get. Tech cargo, slings, face mask, full tech wear. Or let's just talk about these wild strap cargos from Fried Rice. Yes, that is literally the name, go check them out. Now I can remove the straps and enjoy its simplicity or I can go all out and roll with the vibe. And this is giving me that dark vibe, like I need a trench coat and to keep everything black. Just think of this like GTA covers. And no, not the international version of GTA 3. 
I'm talking about the ones they've been consistently putting out. They embraced that GTA font and came up with their iconic cover art that matches the vibe. Or two, you let the piece do the talking and you keep the rest very simple. And by keeping it simple, I mean like all black or utilize some simple color blocking, maybe a few accessories. Here you see me with a blue denim jacket that I got from my dad and pairing it with this bright green cap. Windows XP colors, you know? The reason why that wallpaper is so iconic is of course the composition, but really it's the analogous colors. In layman's terms, colors right next to each other on the color wheel. There's also complementary colors, yada yada yada, that's for another video though. Or you could just roll with simple colors, maybe a graphic tee, but the simpler, the better, and a fat statement piece. Something so wild and out there, and you really don't have to do anything but let the piece do the talking. Think of this like my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Solid red color scheme with a simple square, unique and bold art. And top tier is where you just go wild and you start to discover your own art style. This is bold pieces, bold cuts, wild designs, the whole spiel, and you combine them to make your own. And I'm personally not on this level yet, so I'm just gonna be using Sanj because he knows what he's doing. Honestly, the more experimental you are, the better for this category. These are like the Metroid game covers or Kanye's graduation album, the OG Star Wars movie cover, Police Story, or of course the Metal Gear series, not number four or five because that's just the protagonist's face. Those are great games, but you guys see what I'm saying? It's really a lost art. These cover arts will definitely catch your eye. It's going to break your neck. You definitely have to just grab that and take a look at it. Just like when you see someone walking down the street with a bold, bold outfit and it just strikes your eye. But as you can see already, these different levels offer so much more than just a simple white tee and a pair of jeans. But I'll be honest, here is when it gets dangerous. If all you have are statement pieces, you're going to suffer from analysis paralysis and not even be able to come up with a fit. So just be careful with your fashion consumption. This is why I personally like to stay in level one or level two most of the time headwear and small accessories are one more affordable and two can be paired with basics and still have a lot of weight to your fit so be careful with it have some fun if y'all enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up follow me on instagram and tiktok at fly with johnny ty definitely check out lupin for their accessories and until then stay fly deuces